Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and sub. We are trying to get to 4,000 watch hours and 2,000 subscriptions. Our source that we're using our New York Post. The link is in the description. Hello everyone, your highly illustrious President Ross is here to give you the deets on the updated election map posted by the New York Post, as my wife said, after the vice presidential debate that occurred last night. Let's get into it. According to the New York Post, Trump is leading in several battleground states, but we're gonna start from the West Coast and make our way east. Washington State, with 12 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. Oregon, with eight electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska, with three electoral votes, is red as always for Donald J. Trump. Montana, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to RealClearPolling.com, because the New York Post article did not mention this, six electoral votes, Harris is leading Nevada by 1.1 points, according to the polls. So it's blue for Kamala Harris. Utah, with six electoral votes, and the Mormons are red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, According to the New York Post, Trump is leading, grabbing its 11 electoral votes along the way. Red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district is also red for Donald J. Trump with the littlest district leaning left for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Now we're going to Hawaii on the bottom left. Four electoral votes. Hawaii blue for Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. Minnesota is leaning heavily blue for Kamala Harris and Tampon Timmy. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Now we're looking at Wisconsin and Michigan with 10 electoral votes and 15 electoral votes, respectively. According to... Real clear polling, Harris and Waltz are leading in Wisconsin by 0.5, so they're nabbing their 10 electoral votes as of right now with a margin of error of 0.3%. So they are blue. In Michigan, Harris is leading by 1.7 points, nabbing Michigan's 15 electoral votes. Now we're moving on to Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. He's nabbing their 10 electoral votes easily. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, you're the only 10 I see with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, sweet home, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. According to the New York Post, 16 electoral votes in Georgia are red for Donald J. Trump after the vice presidential debate. South Carolina, with 9 electoral votes, is 
read for Donald J. Trump. According to the New York Post, Trump leads in North Carolina, so he is nabbing their 16 electoral votes easily. They are red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Light blue, actually, because it's almost close to flipping. Pennsylvania uh, with 19 electoral votes. Trump and Kamala Harris are tied once again, so it will not be colored in on this map. Everything else, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the District of Washington, D.C., and everything else are blue for Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. Maine is uh, red for Donald J. Trump currently, and the second or first district is blue for Kamala Harris. And uh, New York, with 20 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. This is an incomplete electoral map. If Donald Trump wins Pennsylvania, he will be left with 19 electoral votes added to his score, which would make him 279 electoral votes. If Kamala Harris wins Pennsylvania, she will be boosted to 274 electoral votes. That will determine the whole election. It's all on you, Pennsylvania. Go out and vote for the candidate that you want to win. Do you want four more years of the Biden-Harris administration, otherwise known as the Harrison-Waltz administration, or do you want four more years of Donald J. Trump? Make America great again. Who do you choose, baby? Trump. And that's all she wrote. I'm President Ross. And I'm back. And we are signing out.